Have you seen video cloning Tyrone? It came out the 21st of July. Even the time of that, there was a lot of significance in the release of the video. So this is going to be a fun decode on the movie Cloning Tyrone. All right, guys, welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Elvene, and I'm glad to have you on this platform, Inner Cosmetics, where we have fun conversations like decoding. So with the decode, what was the most impactful thing to me is the cloning, of course, and adopting the fun idea of what if. You know, we talked about before that we have a tendency, I should say I, I'll keep it on myself, have a tendency to reject things, not even allowing things to be a possibility. But what if I was a clone? And to some extent, I guess I kind of am being that being in this body, but just having fun um, adapting the, the possibility of what if I am allow more things to seep in. Why? Because if I'm a clone, and it's been a fun thing since I watched the movie to actually adapt, it has helped me in this manner. If I am a clone, that means that there are a lot of robotic tendencies that I have. And it helped me to explore and release a lot of things, um, even from that short stint of time, I'm telling you. Because I was just playing in this possibility, this field of possibility. Not saying that anything is actually truth or that I am, just what if? And if you enjoy exploring and you know expanding consciousness, which is what we're all about, maybe that's something fun for you as well to entertain. The what if scenario, what if I am actually a... The other thing was that stood out to me was the blue moon in the video. And why that was significant is the timing of the release of this video was July 21st. And a blue moon is an infrequent occurrence. It's not something that happens frequently. So August of this year, of 2023, will be a blue moon. Again, the timing then stood out to me when the blue moon was shown in the video. So I encourage you to look into the blue moon cycle, what that uh, means, what's happening, if you're into just um, creating the space around yourself to work with the energies during those time frames, you might want to look into that. All right, so now we're on to number three that stood out. The third thing was crypto. I've heard before that crypto is dead and it never actually resonated with me what that actually means until watching Cloning Tyrone. So in the one of the scenes, they mentioned that crypto is a bubble, but blockchain is the future. And in talking with a friend, they gave so much clarity to the difference between crypto and blockchain, because up until that point, I thought it was all one thing. And it's kind of by design that you, they have you, um, they have you believing that crypto is just all encompassing. This one thing, it's dead and stay away from it. Crypto and blockchain are not the same. And a great example of the difference is spirituality and religion. So spirituality is the foundation. It's you in your purest form, remembering to go within, and that's where the answers lies. On top of spirituality, so many things, divergences have been built upon. You have religion, right? And on top of that, there's so much separation in with Within religion, you have your different religions, you know, Christianity, Muslim, all that built upon that foundation of who you actually are. And then there's all these pockets of separation. And similar is crypto and blockchain. Blockchain is what crypto runs on. And as I said in the, the video, blockchain is the future. But if you assume that everything is crypto, you might have a tendency to stay away from it altogether, not understanding that they're not the same thing. So here we have our blockchain technology and crypto. A lot of them don't that actually don't have the utility. And when they say crypto is dead, when people might say that they may be aware or not be aware that they're talking about those 
I don't want to say memes, but those um those tokens that have no utility, no use. And a lot of crypto is not going to make it. But it's like mixing the living with the dead, mixing lies in with truth. And most people are just going to throw it all away, right? But there is the living mixed in with the dead and only those who it's meant to actually serve. Again, I always repeat, there's no wrong decision, but it's just about waking up to the difference between crypto and blockchain because a lot of blockchain is going to go away. It is dead. It's not going to make it. I think I said crypto. Crypto. A lot of crypto is going to be dead uh, and is dead. But blockchain is that living element um, that's going to blossom and be in the future. Give this bird. Um, let's see. The other thing that I thought was prevalent is the food and the pear perming. Um, those were other messages and the music, how the frequency in the music can affect uh, our, our, our body, our elements, um, our avatars. And so, again, it was chock full of so much information. And if you already watched it, I would love to for you to share anything that you saw in there that was like, yo, this also make sure you know you're aware of this because it's actually fun when we um begin pulling back the veil and begin connecting with ourselves right right um i think that's always going to be a fun thing as we connect more with source so this is a really short one today i just thought i wanted it to be timely especially for the blue moon event because august is coming up and anyone who likes to create likes to create a space around again those energies i just wanted to get this video out there and for you to share as well all right guys well until next time stay blessed thanks for tuning in